Hey guys, Abby here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing another dim walkthrough. This is my third one. If you want to check out the dim playlist, then I'll link that down below. But today's video is going to be all about the organizer. I want to help get you guys organized and your vault cleaned up and all that good stuff before Beyond Light so you can see what you've got available when that expansion hits. If you want to see more Destiny 2 videos on this channel, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we are at destinyitemmanager.com. This is actually the beta version. A lot of you guys have been commenting about the blue background that is for Beyond Light. But since this is the beta version, it hasn't pushed out fully yet. It will make your destiny life so much easier. So I highly, highly recommend it. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this organizer tab up here. So let's go ahead and click on that. When you first get over here, your items are going to be blank because you haven't specified what you want to look at yet. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the armor sets up here. We're not really going to go into weapons too much, but if you do click on weapons, you can specify what type of weapon and it will show up there. So you can take a look at that if you really want to refine your perks and see what you've got at a glance. But for this particular video, we're actually going to go into the armor. So we're going to start with Hunter first, because as you can see up here, I have 132 items for Hunter, 130 for Titan, and 79 for Warlock. We can tell which character I don't play very much. It's going to list all of our helmets here with all of our enabled columns. Now, I have since updated and kind of customized my columns, so it may look different for you. I don't remember what the default columns list is because I've since changed it, but these are the columns that I recommend. Now in Beyond Light, mod slot might not be as important as they're changing that. Same with your element as well. But over here on the right hand side where it says enabled columns, you can actually do the drop down here and check or uncheck any of the columns that you want to look at. So say we don't want to look at the mod slot for today because it's not as important. We can hover over that here and then uncheck it and it will take it away on your main screen. But the most important ones to check in my opinion are name, of course, our power level right here, which is going to give us the current power level of the item, power limit, which is extremely important for Beyond Light now that we have sun setting armor, the element. This could be important for charge with light mods, possibly some war mine cell mods. If you want to make sure you have a class item in every element or something like that. But we do know in Beyond Light that the weapon specific mods will not have an element attached to them anymore. So it's not as important to have different armor in different elemental affinities. And then I always like to have the energy column enabled. That's going to show you what the energy total of your armor piece is from one to 10. And then we also want to have the locked and tag columns in there. So you can see if you've already previously sorted it or tagged it. I also keep the tier column in here so that we can sort or exclude exotics. Then down here to our mod slot, you can either have that on or off. And then base stats is extremely important. That's going to be key to a lot of our sorting and then we're looking at custom total as well i'll show you guys how we put that together and then we could take off notes so that you guys can kind of see the full screen here as well i've also zoomed in so we're at 125 percent right now so it may look different on your screen so now that we've set up our columns, we're going to take a look at our hunter helmets first. When I first start, usually I get rid of the exotic. And to do that, you're just going to want to shift, hold down shift, and then click on legendary. It's going to put the filter up here for you. You could also put this filter in there yourself. So you could put is colon legendary or is colon exotic, and that's going to filter it as well. But we've got all of our legendary armor pieces here. So the first thing we can do on the list is sort by power limit. This is going to show us the power limit of our armor piece. We want to take a look at anything that says power limit 1060. That means that we cannot infuse it past that power level after Tuesday, November 10th in Beyond Light. If you're looking at this in a future season, then just know you can look at the current season power level. So if we scroll all the way down, we're going to see one piece down here. I've actually done a fairly good job of cleaning up my 1060 armor so far. We've got this dream bane cowl right here at the bottom which we don't wanna keep going past Beyond Light. So I've actually already tagged this as junk, but if you wanna do the same, you would check box this. So if you had multiple that you wanted to mark as junk, you could do that, go up to the top and then tag them all as junk. Or if you just wanna do one, 
then you can just do one and tag as junk. You can also just click on the icon there and tag it as junk as well. But the organizer is going to allow you to update your tags and kind of mass remove things as well. The next thing that we're going to look at is our stats. We may also want to mark as junk and eventually dismantle in the game any items that have low stats for the stats that we care about. For instance, I really like recovery. So we're going to take a look at any pieces that have low recovery. So this piece right here, this whole fast mask at the bottom here has two recovery which is unfortunate, but I'm also holding on to it because it has 26 discipline and 21 mobility. So those are two other stats that I care about. So I'm holding on to this piece in case I can pair it with a couple other pieces with high recovery to make up for the two recovery. So that brings up another point, our custom total here on the side. Your custom total is going to look at the stats that you care about. So you can put however many or however few stats you want into this custom total. And the way you're going to do that is to go to this drop down for enabled columns, scroll down to custom total, and then click on or off the stats that you're interested in taking a look at. So for me on my hunter, those stats are going to be mobility, recovery, discipline, and intellect. So we click those four in there. It's going to show us our custom total, the stats up here that we selected, and then we can actually go ahead and sort by those totals. So now that we've done that, you can actually see this hold fast mask right here that we we're just looking at because it had such low recovery, but it's actually my fourth best helmet in terms of custom stats that I like. So I'm actually going to keep it because it has some really good other stats. I could pair it with a different piece up here that has higher recovery and it could be a good build for me. The other way you can sort this is to sort by total stats. If you want to see your total base stats, not custom, but your total base stats, you can do that as well, sorting by descending or ascending. It also can be a good way to filter your exotics if you have multiple exotics and you want to take a look at a specific one. So for instance, I have four worm husk crowns in part thanks to Xur. So we're actually going to hold shift and click on worm husk crown. You'll see here that it's put the filter in there for us. And now we can take a look at all four of these. I can go and compare the stats, see which one has the highest recovery or the highest custom total, and then go from there and decide which ones I want to keep. If you ever need to clear your filter, you can go up here and just click on the X. It'll clear it for you and reset everything. Another thing that you also could do is go to Hunter, search in here, Sunsets After Arrival. These are going to be all the items that have a max power level of 1060. If you're looking at this in a future season, you can also put power limit colon equal to whatever the power limit is for that season. So for this one, we're looking at 1060 and that's going to show us the same filter here with our eight items on our hunter. And then you can go in and just look, okay, we've got a dream bane cowl. We've got a dream bane vest. We've got a few legs here and a couple class items. So that's kind of the quick and easy way to take a look at anything that is sunsetting. For instance, these legs, for some reason, I was holding on to, but they actually sunset at the end of the season. As you can see here, 1060 season max. So we're going to go ahead and tag those as junk. And now we can see all three of these 1060 items are tagged as junk. Same with these as well. We've got three Dream Bane marks. I was keeping one in each flavor on my class items, but those are going to be junk come beyond light. So we'll mark those as well. And everything we're doing for the armor, you can also do to your weapons as well. If you want to take a look at what sun setting there, this screen gets a little busy with the perks, but remember you can go over to your enabled columns and actually remove that. If you just want to look at a clear list, and then I'm going to share a quick tip with you guys in the weapons category that I actually just learned a week or so ago is that the thumbs up will only show up if you match four of the perks, if you have a thumbs up in each column. So it's not showing you wishlist perks by themselves, but only showing you if you have a thumbs up in each of those perk categories. So you could also use the organizer and go into your specific weapon type, sort by wishlist, look at ones that do not have the thumbs up, and then determine if you want to keep them from there.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was destinyitemmanager.com, the organizer tab, giving you guys a little walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to catch me live, I stream over at twitch.tv slash abbyhour. I'm going to be streaming a lot of Beyond Light starting Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.